Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. It is November 26th and I'm super excited right now because nine months ago, my sister and I went and took an AI course, which stands for artificial insemination. And today, the very first calf is born from an insemination that I did. <laughs> so this is a very big heifer. I was convinced that the cow was gonna have a bull calf because she was baking it for a little bit longer. That typically means they're gonna have a bull calf. But she had a massive baby girl, so <laughs> I lifted her up and carried her out myself, but she is big, like I almost couldn't pick her up. So, wow, beautiful baby girl. Hey, she's just jumpy because she doesn't know what a person is yet. I'm so excited. <laughs> I made this calf. <laughs> it's wild. So I'm super happy about that. So I had to make my way to the milking parlor because it's milking time. The heifer calf that was just born, I decided to name her Aries. Her mother's name started with an A, so we like to follow the damn line and start with the same letter as the mother. So I named her Aries because that's my zodiac sign. So the reason why the baby's there is because I AI the mom. So <laughs> I thought it was fitting. So yeah, I'm not able to feed Aries right away because I have to milk cows obviously, so that's gonna fall to my sister who's got the calf feeding shift. She's helping my dad bed up animals in the corrals right now. And Jan is putting bedding in the barn, so everybody's getting new bedding today. Everybody's gonna have nice clean beds to lay in tonight because it's starting to get colder again. It was only about I don't know, zero degrees today. Yesterday was six degrees, which is really stinking warm for this time of year, so. Hopefully it doesn't get too, too cold, but we're prepping for if it does. Okay, this is a calcium bolus. It's basically just a big fat pill that we give to cows that have just calved when they are second or more lactations. So I'm not usually very good at this, but we're gonna try. Why do you give it to them? So they don't get milk fever. Excellent. <laughs> How did I do, Jan? Uh, uh, six out of 10. <laughs> that was good. So, chore time is over. I'm sitting with Aries here. I went and wrote down her information in the book, so I was able to figure out who her sire was. It was actually just one AI, and her mom was bred. The sire is Alcove, and I've been really liking Alcove's calves so far. They're actually really nicely tempered and they're typically pretty big. So this girl seems to be in pretty good temperament so far. Her eyes look like she's a little bit uh, crazy, but she's pretty cute. Are you a cutie? Hmm? Yeah, you definitely look cuter now that you're not so slimy. <laughs> I love when they're so wobbly, right when they are getting up for the first couple times. So yeah. AI is actually a really, really great way to bring in new genetics into your herd for cheap. Because if somebody was to buy a bull of that caliber, they would have to pay a lot of money to own him outright. So the way that you can bypass that is buying straws of semen for 30 to $50, I believe, but don't quote me on that. I never look at the <laughs> expense of certain bulls just because I am really focusing on what their confirmation milk and butterfat numbers are. But yeah, 
it's a lot cheaper to get a straw of semen than it is to buy a brand new bull, which is why a lot of farms utilize artificial insemination. And it's really not that hard most of the time. Some cows are a bit more difficult to AI than others. And I'm so excited. She's so pretty. <laughs> Well, we know what's gonna happen now. It's just gonna be another <laughs> tame animal on the farm. <laughs> So it's a few days later and I'm helping my dad bed up corrals because it snowed again. <laughs> so we've done corrals six and four and now we're gonna do three and five. We usually start with six and then go to four and then we go to three and five and then we'll do basically the same pattern down the feedlot. Got four corrals done out of nine so far. It typically takes about 45 minutes if we're just putting in one bale per corral. And I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's kind of snowing again. But if you look up, it's hardly cloudy. Like the blue of the sky is still super visible. So I'm guessing that it's more of a foggy like cloud because you can see in the distance better that it's a bit cloudy. It's really strange because you look up and it's like, oh, blue sky. You wouldn't think there would be snow in there, but there is. And a little update for you all. Pumpkin made it to Corral 2 and so did Birdie. That's the AI heifer corral. Well, there's Lyra. <laughs> Pumpkin! There she is. Come here. <laughs> hey, girl. You sweetie. Yeah, hi. That's Dream. <laughs> Everybody's here for a visit. Hey. Yeah, you're my big baby, aren't ya? couple of really sweet heifers going for some AI and then after that they'll be in the bullpen so I'm trying to love on them <laughs> as much as possible because it's not a good idea to do that when they're in the bullpen. It's not a great idea to do that when they're in the bullpen because Holstein bulls are notoriously aggressive so I'm trying to give them a bunch of attention while they're in the AI corral right now so yeah. But it's time to feed calves now, so I'm gonna go do that. Come on, Aries, you can do it. <laughs> Down, in the bucket. Here. Down there. No, not out. Down. There you go. 